There are almost 4,000 species of snake in the world today. They live in every continent except Antarctica, stretching from the Arctic Circle in Scandinavia southwards to Australia. They live at nearly all altitudes from the sea, up to 16,000 feet in the Himalayas. But there are a few places on Earth where snakes do not exist. Ireland is relatively unique in that it is one of only a few islands that doesn't have any wild snake species native to its shores. Some of the other places across the globe without snakes include New Zealand, Iceland, Greenland and Antarctica. But why is this? Here we ask the question, why are there no snakes in Ireland? Ireland is an island situated to the west of Great Britain. The two are separated by the North Channel the Irish Sea and St. George's Channel. Home to around 7 million people, Ireland is divided into two political countries, the Republic of Ireland, making up five-sixths of the landmass, and Northern Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom. Although Ireland has some interesting fauna, such as red foxes, badgers, Irish hares, red deer, and pine martins, it doesn't have any native snakes, even though its neighbor, Great Britain, does. Legend has it that Ireland's patron saint, St. Patrick, rid the entire country of snakes in the 5th century AD. The story goes that during a 40-day fast on top of a hill, St. Patrick was attacked by the slithering reptiles and chased them all into the sea, ridding the land of the serpents. It was at a time when he was converting people from paganism to Christianity. But this is, of course, only a myth. The real reason is more scientific than that, and it largely came down to both climate and geography. During the last ice age, around 10,000 years ago, along with Britain, Ireland was too cold for reptiles. They are cold-blooded animals, relying on external temperatures to maintain their body metabolism. This means that they are affected by the climate and are most often found in warmer countries, using the sun to heat themselves up. But as the last ice age came to an end, and the world entered what became known as the Holocene, the ice retreated, and global temperatures rose. This meant that animals could disperse to places they hadn't been before. The world was changing, and the changing climate drove species to find more suitable habitat for them. Animals like woolly mammoths, which were adapted to the cold, migrated northwards towards the Arctic Circle, trying to escape the encroaching warmth from the south. Other animals migrated into regions that were once frozen. This included snakes. While they had been restricted to warmer parts of the globe, they were now able to move into northern and western Europe. This geographical dispersal set the ranges for many animals that we still see today. During this time, however, Britain was connected to mainland Europe via a land bridge known as Doggerland. This exposed land allowed species from Europe to spread into Britain. It is how ancient Britain came to have animals such as brown bears, wolves, and woolly mammoths. When the ice continued to melt, however, sea levels rose and the land bridge was submerged. Britain was cut off from the rest of Europe, isolating the animals that had made the journey northwards and westwards. These animals were then subjected to hunting by humans, habitat destruction, and competition in the relatively small landmass ultimately leading to their extinction from Britain thousands of years later. Ireland, however, had been cut off from Britain some 2,000 years before Doggerland became submerged, when the climate was still too cold for reptiles to call Britain home. This meant that the grass snake, the venomous adder, and the smooth snake that is found throughout Britain nowadays never had the chance to make it into Ireland. They simply weren't there at the time that Ireland was connected to Britain. But Ireland did receive some animals that had migrated from mainland Europe before it was cut off by the seas. These animals included brown bears, lynxes, and wild boar. These species were far quicker than snakes to colonize new lands. Snakes are relatively slow to disperse, and so they missed their opportunity to venture firstly into Britain and then across into Ireland from the rest of Europe. Scientists who have studied the success of animal colonizations following the last ice age conclude that a few things are important if a species is to successfully migrate onto newer pastures. Firstly, the species needs to be able to adapt to the cooler climate. Secondly, migration will be easier 
if there are no physical or climatic barriers during their expansion. And thirdly, competition with other species when they expand into new territory needs to be minimal. Although the connection between Ireland and Britain flooded before snakes made it over from Europe, there are reports that land snakes can swim considerable distances across open seas. Grass snakes spend a lot of their time in and around fresh water whilst hunting prey, but they have also been recorded making the journey across from mainland Wales onto the island of Anglesey. Others have been found 25 miles from land swimming in the open water. They are capable of swimming across the Irish Sea from Western Britain into Ireland. So, whilst Ireland was isolated from Britain during Britain's colonization by snakes, for some reason they didn't make the journey over. Perhaps there was no reason to migrate further westwards. If no ecological pressures were forcing them to make the move, then why would they cross a perilous physical barrier? Although the snakes never made it to Ireland, another reptile did. It was the common lizard, also known as the viviparous lizard, as they give birth to live young. They are Ireland's only native reptile. Today, these small lizards have a global range greater than any other land-dwelling reptile, spanning much of northern Europe, across Central Asia, and as far east as Japan. It is not clear how these lizards colonized Ireland, but they could have made the journey via floating islands of vegetation. This is a theory put forward for other species across the globe, like the New World monkeys that travelled from Africa across the Atlantic to South America. Oceanic rafting, as it has become known, has been responsible, scientists think, for the dispersal of plants, insects, reptiles, rodents and primates. Another reptile that lives in Ireland is the slow worm. This legless lizard is not native to the island, but looks like it was introduced during the 1960s. It doesn't seem to have affected the established Irish wildlife, though, as it hasn't spread throughout the country. Instead, it remains relatively isolated in a limestone region in County Clare, known as the Burren. So, these two lizard species living in Ireland prove that reptiles can exist there. Although most snakes are associated with warm climates, the European adder lives in areas inside the Arctic Circle, showing that snakes can survive cold temperatures if other conditions are right. Therefore, it seems that snakes could survive in Ireland today if introduced there. The impact this would have on the local ecosystem is debatable, but likely to negatively affect other species in one way or another. If we travel further back in time to before the last ice age, when the world was a much warmer place than it is today, then Ireland could well have been home to a vast array of reptiles and maybe even some giant snakes. During the late Eocene, around 38 to 34 million years ago, there were boa constrictors slithering around Britain. Although these fossils have not been found specifically in Ireland due to the nature of its geology, the country was connected to the rest of Britain back then. So, one could assume that Ireland also had more tropical wildlife, including snakes roaming its land. But as the climate changed over time and the Ice Age crept in long after dinosaurs had left the Earth, any reptiles that may have been in Ireland wouldn't have survived. The snow covered the land and ice floated on the seas. In places, the snow was 1,000 meters thick making it especially impossible for reptiles to exist. There was little to no plant or animal life in Ireland. Throughout the millennia, however, Ireland has hosted many weird and wonderful animals. Plesiosaurs, Ichthyosaurus, and the terrifying Mosasaurs swarm in the warm seas off Ulster. Some of the most westerly dinosaur fossils in Europe were discovered in County Antrim belonging to the herbivorous Skeledosaurus and carnivorous Megalosaurus. Ancient elephants walked through County Down, woolly mammoths grazed tall grasses in Waterford, and hyenas hunted across the plains of Cork. While snakes can survive in Ireland, its location and past climate have made sure that they never recolonized the island since before the last ice age. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time.